friends. So it is Saturday morning. It's actually like 11 or 12, I think. It's like 11.30, I think. I'm running to some errands today. I'm gonna go get some paint really quick for my room. So I'm gonna paint a mural in my room. And I'm gonna go to the library. I'm gonna go to Target. I'm gonna go drop off some stuff at the thrift store. Um, and there might be some other errands here and there. I might go get some raw milk at a store. If they have raw milk, they're usually out, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, and I might vlog tomorrow as well on Sunday, just cause it's, it's fun to vlog on the weekends and just to show you guys some exciting stuff in my day besides just work, cause I work from home. So during the week vlogs aren't always as exciting as the weekend vlogs. So it's close to the end of September. So it's kind of feeling fallish outside. Um, so I'm just excited to run some errands. I cleaned my room this morning, which felt really good. Um, I've just been kind of having a slower morning, which is always really nice. So I'm excited to have, yeah, just a full day of doing things. I like having a no agenda day. That's what I like to do on my days off is a no agenda day. So today I was like, I don't really know what I want to do in the morning. And then I just kind of had ideas of what I want to do. I want to paint my mural maybe. I want to do some errands, maybe go to a bookstore possibly. Um, but it's always tempting to buy books. So I don't know if I'll actually do that. I might just peruse around Barnes and Noble. We'll see. Um, yeah, I just love having no agenda days, just doing whatever I feel like. So that's what today is. So I hope you guys enjoy just coming along with me on a no agenda day. <laughs> and I also encourage you guys to do no agenda days. So they're really good for your soul in your heart and just to do whatever you want to do. So let's do this. To me, they feel so nostalgic. <laughs> um, I think it's because I used to go to malls a lot when I was a kid. And it just feels like early 2000s vibes because nowadays I feel like malls aren't as big because there's tons of online shopping and stuff. So I just love going into malls and it's just like really fun, like Saturday, I don't know, Saturday routine. Cause there's like some kids there and there's like lots of cute, there's lots of unique shops actually in this one. I went to like a, it's called like a geek something a geek store or something um and it was really cute it was like that's where i was smelling all these candles like there's candles for lord of the rings or like the shire candles there's like elf high elf like tea candles which is really cool 
and they went to a bookstore in here which i did not know about it but it's really good to know about it because like i think it's a used bookstore primarily and it was really nice there's tons of books there i also just love walking around and i didn't buy anything i just picked up something for my mom here um but it's just fun to walk around and just to look and it just feels so nostalgic especially like jc penny when i was walking around there i'm like this feels like my childhood because <laughs> i used to go there a lot with my mom and even like my grandma loved shopping at jc penny's um so it's just fun let me know if you guys relate to that like the nostalgia of malls it's like early 2000s and like just my childhood at least for me um it feels like my childhood now i'm gonna go to home depot get some paints there for my room i'm excited i have some like swatches doing like a bird on my mural or on my wall and i have these options so far i also want to find like a lighter orange or like a lighter yellow because i'm gonna do a sun as well on there but I want them to be a little bit more neutral, not super, super bright. I know that there's like a, this one's probably the brightest color I'll do. And then this one's a little bit more neutral. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go look there and buy some paints. And then I think I'm done for the day. I kind of wanted to take a walk near the river. I might do that. But I also want to go home and eat lunch too since I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. So we'll just see where the day takes us. first day of fall today and to be honest it's been an interesting day um i feel like i've been quite in my head today so that's why i haven't really talked to you guys throughout the day that's why i've been painting today because i think i just need to get into my body i'm working on this mural behind me it's gonna be a bird with the sun behind the bird and then i'm gonna do i think a quote on the right side of it as well so i probably won't finish it today i might finish the bird today in the sun um but probably not the quote because i think i want to rewrite it anyways so with the colors so far i'm really glad i chose this color i'm going to do some layering and add some detailing on the bird it probably will still be pretty simple but yeah i took a walk this morning um i read a little bit of my book which i'm reading a book called with love from london um which i'm enjoying it it's it's okay i'll probably give it three or four stars i think I have realized I love watching Hallmark movies actually, it's a guilty pleasure of mine, but I'm not sure if I like reading Hallmark -y books. <laughs> this book feels a bit Hallmark -y. It's a little bit different though, a different concept because there's a little bit of mystery and a little bit of like, it talks a lot about this lady and her relationship with her mom who's passed away. And her mom basically left her when she was a little girl. She was like, I think like 11 or 12 when her mom left her and she went back to London actually because that's where her mom is from. 
And so it kind of switches from those different point of views. So it switches from the main girl, her name is Valentina, and then it switches to her mom's point of view from like years back, um, even like back to whenever she was in her like early 20s. So that that part of the book is pretty interesting. I think just sometimes there's like some cheesy lines. I feel like they just, the author just tries to like fit in there about life. And it just doesn't really feel like it's a good fit. I'm like, it would be fine without these these quotes like it's like these inspirational quotes that just feel a little bit awkward a little bit like a little bit forced I think I would say but overall it's a good book and I'm like I'm, I'm intrigued I want to know like how it ends and like why the girl why the woman the mom left the girl Valentina when she was a little girl um so yeah I like that and I like that it's not like super centered around romance I think there's a potential romantic interest in it but it's not like centered around that i would say it's more about the daughter and her relationship with her mom which is cool i appreciate that i appreciate that it's not all about romance i think sometimes that gets a little bit old I watch a football game later today with my parents and kind of enjoy the change of the seasons it's already been getting pretty cold um in utah so i'm really enjoying like the crisp air i love 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 the fall and i've been so ready for it i've been really ready for a change of seasons um i do love the summer but i think i'm definitely a fall girl at heart and like winter because i grew up in wyoming um mainly and so i think i just miss the cold seasons and i love reading books and so i feel like it's just such a perfect pairing to read a book during fall um so yeah i'm still trying to figure out what i want to read this fall because i'm kind of like a mood reader sometimes too so I've already read the book called um, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which is very fallish. So I'm like, maybe I'll reread that. I'm also reading the Red Rising series right now by Pierce Brown, which is really good. I'm on the fourth one now. So I might also read that because it's kind of like, I don't know, it's not really fallish, but it is like a, I don't know, it's kind of like Hunger Games vibes a little bit. So it's like a little bit fallish. It's more fall than summer, I feel like. So I might read that as well because I really want to finish that series. I'm gonna go have lunch and I'll probably maybe keep continuing my painting. I'll show you guys this is like the final product of what i got to today i didn't really go much further than this basically so it's kind of what i showed you guys but this is like the outline of the bird i just need to do the wings right here and i need to add more details to the bird and then this sun i just need to do the tape off probably in the morning um but yeah i'll probably try to show it maybe in another vlog or at least the finished product in another vlog but I'm excited. It's a good like side project to work on. But that is basically my weekend. I'm hard to read tonight and just kind of rest. Um, my cat's in here with me. She's she always sleeps with me at night, so that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little vlog. It might have been kind of short, but I just wanted to take you along for my weekend of running errands and welcoming in fall and. Yeah, I'm so excited for it to be fall. And I'm so excited for like the pumpkin carvings. And yeah, I'm even thinking of maybe setting some intentions for the fall season and things I want to do. Because I think it's so special to do like seasonal activities and to kind of ring in the different seasons. I, I never used to do that, but I think recently this past year, I've been more intentional with doing that. Um, or at least just thinking about, at least just thinking about it, like what the different seasons mean or even like how our emotions are affected by the different seasons, because I think that's a real thing. Um, and even just like what this different season symbolize. So yeah, I'm just excited for the fall and the cozier months will be really fun. Let me know if you guys have any plans for the fall or any intentions you're setting for the fall, any books you're reading for the fall as well. I'm gonna be reading this book tonight a little bit. I'm gonna try to finish it in the next week or so. I'm about halfway through, I think. So yeah pretty good but not one of the best books I've read but it's really cute cute chill read to read so and I love London so it's good to read it for that that's kind of why I picked it up because it's about London or it's set in London which is great so yeah all right guys I will see you in the next video bye friends <laughs>